morning, church friends. We hope you've had a really good week and lots of time. <laughs> lots of time to be able to play outside. Our affirmation for this week is when I share, happiness grows. So we're going to learn more about sharing and taking turns and how it can make our love bigger yeah, and bigger. Yeah, like Benji and Jaden and and my friends do that. Yeah, you guys share with each other? Mm -hmm. And does it create more love? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're going to read a Bible verse, okay? It's in Matthew 6, 2 through 4. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. But I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give to others, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that it may be done in secret, and God will reward you. So that means it's good sometimes to give presents in secret, or it's good to do really good things without saying, hey, look at all the good things I did, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna read a story now. This story is called Loaves and Fishes. Loaves and Fishes, what does that mean? Well, we're gonna listen. Many people walked a great distance over the hills to see Jesus. A young girl named Anna and her mother had left home before the sun was up. She stood on the hill where Jesus was teaching. Anna looked all around and could see people in every direction. It was like being in a sea of people. Anna felt lucky to be close enough to Jesus to hear his voice clearly and see his eyes. Anna had never before seen eyes that held so much love. She felt her stomach starting to grow with hunger. When you guys get hungry, does your stomach make noises? What does it sound like? Rumble. Rumble, rumble. It had been a long day of walking. Anna looked over at the basket of food sitting next to her mother on the grass. There were fresh loaves of barley bread and two little fish that Anna had caught in the basket. Maybe her mother would offer her dinner soon. Anna knew she shouldn't ask. That little basket was all they had until they went home. She was thinking about food and Anna suddenly realized the man called Philip was talking with Jesus about food too. Anna could hear the concern in Philip's voice. Even if we buy bread out somewhere, there is not enough money to feed all these people, he said to Jesus. And Anna knew that was true. Jesus was poor, like most of the people here. He probably didn't have enough food for himself, and he certainly couldn't take care of a huge crowd like this. Anna looked at the basket and held her dinner. There was just enough there for her mother and herself. There wouldn't be any help coming from them. But Anna knew she couldn't just sit and eat dinner while Jesus and the others were hungry. She ran across the grass to her mother, grabbed the basket, and said, Mother, Jesus needs the food to feed all these hungry people. Can we share the bread and fish you packed for us? Her mother looked puzzled and then amused. And then, smiling lovingly, she said, Of course, give the basket to Jesus. So Anna quickly carried the basket to the tall, bearded man, looked down, and heard him say, What do you need, child? We want to share the food in our basket. Can you please tell Jesus that we have some food? Anna explained. The man picked up the basket and moved closer to where Jesus sat at the high point of the hill. Master, a young girl has offered her dinner to share these five loaves and two fish in the basket, he announced doubtfully. Anna was suddenly embarrassed to hear herself mentioned. Jesus smiled when he heard what the man Andrew said. He instructed his disciples to reassure the crowd of people and to tell everyone to sit on the grass. Then he took the basket from Andrew and offered up a prayer of thanksgiving. Jesus rose from his place and looked over at Anna. Anna saw those eyes of love again and didn't feel a bit hungry. After a time, the basket was passed to her mother, who took out enough bread and fish for their dinner. The basket wasn't empty, so she handed it to the man nearby. Anna lost track of the basket as she gratefully ate the good bread and salty fish. She started to notice that everyone around her was eating as well. As people finished their meal, Jesus spoke to them and said, because she shared, there was a miracle. Anna couldn't figure it out. Did Jesus feed all the people out of her basket? Did others share their food so there was enough to feed everyone? She decided she didn't want to think about it too hard. Her stomach was filled and her heart was full of happiness. So I have a couple questions I want you to think about, okay? And you at home. Why do you think Anna shared her food even though she didn't have very much? Mm, because everyone, I don't know. You don't know? Do you think it could be because she had love in her heart and wanted to share it with others and take care of other people? Yeah. How do you think everyone got enough to eat if there was only a little bit of food and all those people got to eat? I don't know. Do you think it was a miracle? Yes. I think so too. Why was Anna so happy at the end of her story? 
Um, I don't know. Because everyone was able to eat. Now, did she run through the crowd and say, I shared my food, I shared my food? No. She didn't do that. So Why? she was quiet about sharing. So how do you think the story might have been different if Jesus had made all the people share their food? Do you think they would have shared it? Or do you think they would have kept it to themselves? Um, um, uh, shared. Maybe. Sometimes people are willing to share with us and sometimes they aren't. But it's our job to share with others when we can, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's pray. Are you ready? You want to pray for us today? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Dear God, I'm thanking you for my amazing love. Thank you. Thank you for being gone and never leave us. Amen. Okay. Bye, church friends. Bye, church friends. Share love with someone this week. See you later. Bye.